the trisector doing the impossible the rational symmetric expansion model What is a trisector? The trisector is a rational symmetric expansion geometric model. It is constructed with a compass and an unmarked straight edge. What can it do? The trisector enables us to trisect any given angle. How does it work? The trisector expands any given angle by one third using the principle of proportion. The basic model expands a 45 degree angle to 60 degrees. Let us see how the trisector works. The first step is to construct the trisector. We will do this step by step. Step 1. Draw circle O. Mark off radius A1, A2. Step 2. Bisect A1, A2. Draw symmetric axis P, O, N. Step 3. Connect O, A1 and O, A2 as well as P, A1 and P, A2. Step 4. Bisect angles PA1O and PA2O. They cut PO in at Q. Step 5. With radius QA1, draw secondary arc A1MA2. Step 6. Set compass to QO mark off NS. With radius OS draw primary arc B1 S B2. This is our trisector, the RSE model. Notice the three arcs. The primary arc the secondary arc and the concentric arc. The trisection. We now proceed to trisect a 60 degree angle into three equal parts. Step 1. Bisect B 1S for C1 and B2S for C2. B1OB2 is equal to 60 degrees. Step 2. Set the compass to B2C2. Mark off D1 and D2 on the secondary arc. A1, D1, D1, D2, D2, A2 are 15 degrees each. 
We have trisected arc A1, A2 by transferring three 15 degree segments from B1, B2. Angle A1, Q, A2 is 45 degrees. Connect QD1 and QD2. Now connect OD1 and extend to E1 and F1. Also connect OD2 and extend to E2 and F2. We have trisected the 60 degree angle B1 F1 is equal to F1 F2 is equal to F2 B2. Trisecting an angle less than 60 degrees. Mark the angle B3 O B2 off on the primary arc. Bisect B2, B3 twice for C1 and C2. Then transfer B2, C2 to the secondary arc A1, M, A2. Mark off as A2, D2. Connect Q and D2, connect O and D2 and extend to E2 and F2. B2, F2, trisects the arc B3, B2. Angle B2, O, F2 is one third of angle B3, O, B2. We will now examine the principle on which the trisector works. Proportion. The standard model. Angle A1 O N is 30 degrees. Angle P A1 O and angle A1 P O are each 15 degrees. The ratios are 1 to a half to a half. Choose any point E1 on A1N, connect PE1 and OE1. Let angle E1ON be Z degrees, then angle PE1O and angle E1 P O is a half Z degrees. The ratio is one to a half to a half. It remains constant. As E one moves between A one and N, the ratio of 1 to a half to a half remains constant. The law of proportion. The radius OA1 and OE1 remain constant.
the revised model. We move P to Q so that the angle A1QN is equal to 22 and a half degrees. Next, draw the arc A1N1 with radius QA1 is equal to QN1. Angle QA1O is 7.5 degrees. Angle A1QN is 22.5 degrees. Angle A1ON is 30 degrees. The new ratio is 1 to 3 to 4. Choose any point E2 on arc A1N1. Connect QE2 and OE2. Let angle E2ON equal Z degrees. Then angle QE2O is one quarter Z degrees and angle E2QN is 3 quarter Z degrees. The ratio is 1 to 3 to 4. As E2 moves between A1 and N1, the ratio of 1 to 3 to 4 remains constant. In a rational system, cause and effect applies. Nothing can be added or taken away. Geometric Confirmation Pay attention to D1, the connection on the secondary arc A1, D1, D2. D1, Q is the bisector of triangle A1, Q, D2 by construction. Turn D1, Q anti-clockwise to O. D1, O is the bisector of the triangle A1, O, E2. Due to the symmetry of the construction, angle A1, O, D1 is equal to angle A2, O, D2. Angle A one O A two is trisected. Focus on the paired crosses.